Welcome to Vika Computer. My name is Yogiraj and in this tutorial I will teach you how to install Linux Mint 19 Tara Cinnamon Edition. Let's get start. First of all, you will need to download the Linux Mint image file. You can head over to the linuxmint.com and move to the download section. Over here, you will be shown different versions, for example, Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. For this video tutorial, we will download the Cinnamon 64 bit edition. You can also get to choose whether you want to download the 32 bit version of the operating system or the 64 bit. Moving on now, you can try the different mirror links to download the Linux Mint image file. Next, you need to to create a live USB stick, you do have the option of creating a live CD. We will be using a third party application called UNET Bootin. Over here, link is in description. Once downloaded, simply run the application and we can get started with the making live USB stick. Before getting started, make sure you have connected the USB to the system. We are using 16 GB USB here. Moving on, select the disk image option and make sure you have the ISO option selected from the drop down menu. With that done, click on the browse button and select the mint ISO file that you just downloaded previously. With that done, make sure the USB drive option is selected. For the type, make sure that you select the correct drive here. You can double check by opening up my computer. With that done, click on OK and it will start creating a bootable live USB. Once done, you can reboot the system. While rebooting, we will enter into the BIOS and move to the booting options. Make sure that the USB or removable disk are at the top of the boot priority. This will allow us to boot from the USB device. With that done, we will save the changes and exit the BIOS. Now Linux Mint will open up in live mode. To start with the installation process, simply click on the install Linux Mint icon on the desktop. Here, first of all, you will be required to select the language. Next, you will be required to choose a keyboard layout. Over here, we have kept the default options as they are. Click continue. Next, here you have an option to install third-party softwares for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware, Flash, MP3 and other media. If you check this box, then the system will require active internet connection for downloading the components. Next, click continue. Moving on, you will be given options for installations like erase the entire disk and install the operating system or try something else like resizing a partition etc. If you select the option, you will be redirected to the screen where you can create new partition tables. This comes in handy when you want to run multiple operating systems. Moving back, let's select the first option. Here, make sure you have a backup before pursuing this option. A pop-up box will appear on the screen. To confirm the changes to disk, click continue. Next, you will be required to select the time zone. Moving on, last of all, you will be required to enter the details such as your name, your computer's name, your username and password. If you want, you can even choose to encrypt your home folder by choosing this option. After that, the installation process will start automatically. Over here, you can see that it's downloading the language packs. So it's very important that you stay connected to the internet during the entire process. Once done, a notification window will appear telling you the system installation was successful. You can either continue testing the operating system or restart the computer. Let's restart the computer and remove the USB stick. Once the system reboots, you can see here that Linux Mint has been successfully installed with the user account already created. Let's enter the credentials and login the user and over here you can see that the welcome screen is appearing that means Linux Mint has been successfully installed on the system. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment your valuable feedback and most important make sure that you don't forget to subscribe.